In this session, we're going to look at how we can animate a vehicle path. As you can see, I have a drawing open on screen. This drawing is called 05 Animation Tools. Let's start by zooming in a little closer on the site. This geometry represents the parking lot for a fast food restaurant. As you can see, I have already created a vehicle tracking path. This path represents a refuse vehicle pulling into the parking lot here on the north side and then backing up to this dumpster enclosure. Now I have already edited this path to make sure it was possible for this vehicle to make the maneuver. At this point I'd like to create an animation of my analysis. To do that I'll select the path and then on the vehicle tracking tab here in the review panel I'll click the animate button. This brings up a toolbar containing several standard video playback buttons. You know a really quick way to see a 2D animation is to simply drag the playhead back and forth along the timeline. To play the animation using the tools, click the play button. The play button is also used to pause the animation. By default, the animation plays back at a one times speed or real time. If you'd like to speed things up, you can click the fast forward button. Each time you click fast forward, you can toggle through additional speed settings. For now, I'm going to toggle this back to real time speed. If you'd like to view the animation in 3D, click the Flyby Camera button. This will bring up an additional camera control. Using these sliders, I can position the camera in front of or behind the vehicle, left side or right side, above or below, and I can zoom in and out using the focal length slider. It's important to note that these adjustments can also be made during playback. Let's try that. Now, since my screen size is small, I'm going to bring the play tools down to the lower left corner of the screen. I'll click play. And notice as the animation plays back, we are focused on the refuse vehicle. If I look at the camera option up at the top, I can expand this. We can also view the animation from the driver's eye view. And when you are using this view, you can toggle the mirror view option. When using this option, in the event the driver backs up, you can view the animation from the perspective of the left and right side rear view mirrors. So you're seeing what the driver would see as he backs up to the dumpster enclosure. If you'd like to save an animation, you can do that by clicking the record button. By default, animations are stored as AVI files. Right here we can select the file name and path, the length of the video in seconds, and the frames per second. We can control how much of the interface is being recorded. I could then click OK and select my desired codec. Through a little experimentation, I found that if you use the Microsoft Video One codec, you can play your animation back very easily using Windows Media Player. Let's close this. And I'm going to close the animation tools. This will restore me to a top-down view. One of the best parts about the vehicle tracking software when it comes to animation is we can animate more than one vehicle path at a time. Let's try that. I'm going to go to the Home tab, and then I'll open the Layer Control, and I'll turn on this layer called Passenger Car. On this layer, I have another vehicle path. This path represents a passenger car entering the parking lot, driving around the building, through the drive through and parking at the window. Let me zoom out and I'll pan this over. To animate multiple paths, select all of the paths that you're interested in, and then click the Animate button. I'm going to pull the playback tools up a little higher this time, and I'll click the Advanced button. Note that we can see a representation of each vehicle path. With respect to the refuse vehicle, we can see the colorization of where the vehicle is accelerating. The green represents where it's at speed. Here's where it's slowing down and then accelerating in reverse. Here it's at normal speed, and then here's where it backs up to the dumpster. If I drag the playhead back and forth, I can watch the animation here in 2D, and we can see there's obviously going to be a conflict right here. Now the vehicles won't crash in the animation, they'll just drive through each other. What I'd like to do is have the passenger vehicle pause right here at the entrance of the parking lot and let the garbage truck pass by. So I'll put the playhead at that position, and then I'm going to double click on the passenger car path to make a change. At this point, I would like to add a new delay. Maybe we'll set this for five seconds. I'll press Tab to accept that value, and I'll click OK. Note we can see the stopped area here in the graph. I'll go back to the playhead, and we'll test the pause. And it looks like it's not going to be long enough. 
Let me put the playhead back. I'll double click again. And I'll bump this up to 10 seconds. I'll press tab when finished. Note there are additional options you can experiment with. Let's make one more change. I'm going to click the body outline. Right here we can change the color of the vehicle in the animation. I'll make the car red. I'll click OK and OK. We'll drag the playhead one more time. Looks like these settings will work perfectly. So I'll collapse the tools. I'll drag these to the lower left corner of the screen and then we'll view the animation in 3D one more time. I'll click the reset button to put the video back to the beginning. Same as before, our attention is focused on the refuse vehicle. When I click play, the animation starts. Let's open the camera menu. Note that we can also view the video focused on the passenger car or from the passenger car's windshield view or from the refuse vehicle's windshield view. I'm going to flip this back such that we're overhead focused on the refuse vehicle. I will then speed things up a little and we can watch the refuse vehicle back up to the dumpster enclosure and we can see the car drive around the building and pick up their food. As you can see, using the animation tools within the vehicle tracking software, we can quickly create compelling animated representations of a swept path analysis.